hi okay hope everyone is doing well and feeling loved and if not know that i love you okay so this is going to be destiny messages for today um i am ever evolving it's a channeled message here so if you've been wondering the answer to something if it's yes or no the answer is yes you're going to get what you prayed for make room for what you love and be patient the universe is moving things around okay that's for somebody some of you okay someone needs to know this a woman moves differently when she fully embodies the feminine force of energy that flows through her she's intuitive and consents when something feels off she doesn't people please or reduce herself to fit in she has healthy boundaries because she knows her worth. She has a cosmic shine because of the radiance that illuminates from her heart. I don't know. Someone needs to know that for some reason. Who are the people that, um, that prayed for something that's going to get what they prayed for? So it'd be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're going to be getting what you prayed for involve a third party here um being single here you or you may want someone else to be single it could be a virgo here hermit energy virgo um you are someone's ace of pentacles libra gemini aquarius gemini energy the lovers could be a gemini also that is getting what they prayed for somebody's praying for somebody to have them yeah um i'm also getting aries aries you're gonna get what you prayed for there's a scorpio here it could be a female female aries female scorpio you're gonna get what you prayed for maybe you've been stuck for a long time but i feel like you're headed into balance okay that is what i got okay um And I feel like, Virgo, you're going to get what you prayed for, too. You could be praying for an Ace of Pentacle. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Um, everybody's going to get what they wanted who's on the, you know, good end, I should say. Like, if you've been in alignment with your higher self. So where are they headed? Where are they headed? Destiny messages. Where are they headed? Destiny messages. Ooh. Somebody could have been stuck for a long time or feeling stuck now. The king of scrolls. So this could be someone coming into your life to help you see something that you may not have saw before. This is someone here who's gonna who came in to help you. Okay. The universe could have sent this person in. So who is this person that came in to help? Who is this person that's coming in to help? This somebody could be somebody who's introverted. This person may drink tea here. They could be, this person could have came towards someone um, who they find attractive here. They're coming in to help. This person could be a gypsy soul, okay? Could be a loner, could be a Virgo. This person, maybe you have issues that are, you're like clingy or something that need to be healed, resolved. I feel like this person is going to help you. Who is this introvert? This person could be an entrepreneur. They're coming in as a CEO, so they could be an entrepreneur. This is an earth sign or could be an earth sign, could be a Pisces for some of you. Um, they see you as a, a rebel queen here who's very intuitive, so they're coming in really quickly. You also have an air sign who's coming towards you and a Leo, who is a sage who's coming to communicate something. This Leo may feel like you're a victim to witchcraft from a cancer here. There could also be a Scorpio here who is dealing with a cancer. 
Okay, there's a lot of people here. So take it how it resonates. Um, I don't know, this looks like a lot of people. Okay, where are they headed? So they're headed into a commitment. I got this the other day. When was it? Yesterday, the day before? I feel like it was the day before. I don't know. You guys know, I don't. 11, 1, 1 could be significant, but commitment. It, there, somebody, you guys are going into a new contract. This is a contract that I'm hearing has never been done before. <laughs> it's weird. I don't know. It's never been done before. I don't know what that is. A lot of messages. Clarify what the commitment is. And I gotta just be honest. I feel like there's people competing for the contract. Ow. This is just what it feels like. Are there people competing for this contract? Are there multiple male masculine energies competing for the contract? This is a yes. We have Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Earth, Water, Masculine, Scorpio, Fire again, Leo again, Aries, Libra, Gemini, like, oh my god. It's like they all want to be the lovers, part of the lovers. So what is this commitment? Can you clarify what the commitment will be? No, they don't want to say. And I figured they were going to do that. This card talks about you don't know where you're going. This is feeling like, like I just said, it's never been done before. Maybe you guys are creating co-creating with the universe at this time to create something completely new i don't know what the hell could have not ever been done before maybe it's maybe you're not doing anything um from your past life maybe this is like you're doing your all of your karma could have been cleared you know what i mean like so when you clear all your past life karma you head into new contracts so someone some of you have cleared out all of your past life karma it's over it's paid up you're debt free so now you're creating something new so it's like unknown because you're co-creating from new at this time i hope you're understanding what i'm saying okay yeah this is definitely a twin flame union here um this is 1188 1188 okay like 1111 and 88 88 is a twin flame um, reunion union marker 11 1 1 you know it's 11 11 here Sanghai Sangha community somebody could be involved in the Sangha community someone's headed towards this community I don't even have any familiar I'm not familiar with this so I don't know um, this card indicates that it's time to join or rejoin your tribe so some of you are going into a commitment, going onto a path unknown, and you're going to be meeting your soul tribe and gathering with these people. This is a group of people who are your people. They're your tribe, your soul family. And these are new. Like I said, this is what this card talks about, new friends, not from past lives. But all of you have reawakened your past life gifts and abilities. And I guess you guys are going to be in this community together to create new things. So what are they going to be creating together in the community with this? And so the waterfall and the queen of keys. 
68 could be significant. 68 or 6 and 8. Okay, so 6 of forces, blah, 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 the waterfalls. So it says you have the ability to shape any situation in a way that honors you and moves your life forward. Yeah, you guys are just going to like be out here co-creating with the universe, <laughs> whatever you want. You guys, yeah, I'm not going to expand on that, but yeah. Um, the Queen of Keys is a woman of authority. So someone could be going into an authoritative contract where you are the queen. Okay. This is a positive woman of business who is about to climb success. This is about financial success and increased authority. So this is money and power. Um, I've been seeing a lot lately. <laughs> I don't think this is, this could be someone's shadow because I didn't feel like a negative energy behind it, but I have been seeing um, the same saying over and over for the past couple days. It says, if I can't have love, I want power or if I can't have love, give me power or something like that. Like, this is what I feel like this person has said or has been focusing on. But I feel like she's actually going to get both. She's actually going to get both. Um, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Something about um, time is of significance. Time. Keeper of time. Um, yeah, this has got to have. This is... There is a specific time frame where this is going to be happening. So if you're wondering like, okay, when the hell is this coming? Or why isn't this here now? Or why am I being called to wait? Because it's not the right time. Something has to shift um, probably in the planets. Yeah, it's something about a faded meeting. There's a faded meeting that has to happen at a specific time. Six, seven, eight could be significant. Because two worlds, you guys are walking in between worlds. So 3D, 5D. And so... It's just not time to meet yet. This feels like very powerful... You two are very powerful together or something like this, okay? Or you will be. Yeah, so I'm Buddha. Buddha pre prepares. So someone could be practice, have practiced Buddhism um, or incorporates those practices. And the other person here has access to the Akashic Library. So I feel like this is what Spirit is saying, that the two of you together are going to be, I'm hearing, an unstoppable force. Oh. Somebody here likes to read. Anything else you want to say about these two, or however many it is that you guys are? You guys know it. I say these two, but like I said yesterday, it's multiple of you. I just, it's easier for me to say it like that. Anything else you want to say about these people? And, like, notice these people are behind. I feel like that's your tribe. You may be teaching this to your tribe, to your community. Like, the, the both of the knowledge, both of you two could be teaching what you have realized, what you have accessed, what you have gained to others. Some of you could be writing this down or writing a book about what you have learned. The two of you could be doing this. Some of you, this is same-sex couples, male, male. Others could be female, female. Others could be female, male. Okay. Mm. 
Okay, I gotta say, some of you are not gonna, <laughs> some of you are not gonna like this, but I gotta tell you what I just saw that I have never seen in this card before, but this is significant, okay? And please keep in mind, like I was telling you yesterday, you have to have your third eye open because there are oppositions in every society, in every church, in every religion. There, it, nobody's perfect, right? You're always gonna have people who are not doing good things in every community or religion or sector of society. So, okay. Somebody is a Freemason. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna tell you, somebody's a Freemason. I don't know if this is something that they have hidden, um, but this is something, somebody is a Freemason or someone has, is, has Freemasonry in their ancestry, okay? Um, a green dragon is also significant, as well as a, um, as well as a dream catcher. But I, that's a Freemason symbol on that candle, and I've never seen that, and it's next to the Buddha. So whoever, weird, but whoever is this Buddha or practices this, Buddhist belief or something like that, I feel like may be a Freemason. Or maybe the one who comes from Freemasonry. Yeah. Somebody also could be um, Jewish, because I see the Star of David here. Wow. I've never noticed that in this deck before. I've actually never noticed any of that in this deck. That is wild that they're showing me that now. I mean, everything happens for a reason. We're all, we're shown things for a reason. Okay. This is going to help somebody get out of the ruins. Somebody could be caught somewhere. This is for some of you too. Somebody could be caught maybe with a karmic, stuck with a karmic or feel stuck or something. Like this information is going to help you get out of that. You got to access your Akashic Records in order to get free of this. 128 could be significant. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe you guys are going to be helping free someone. I'm not trying to laugh, but I don't know. One last card. Yeah, the King of Forces. Uh-oh. Okay. For some of you, you are going to be helping free someone. This is a king of forces because they're stuck in a karmic trench. They can't get out of it. I feel like this person has not awakened. They're not awake. The king of forces holds the sun and the moon within them. Okay. Maybe this is what this queen of keys is getting ready to go into a contract because maybe she, maybe she don't want love. Maybe she sacrificed love and said, you know what? Uh, I just want money and power and Universal's like, say no more fam and <laughs> gave her that. And, or, but she has to help the king of forces get out of this karmic trench. What, what does the king of forces want in his life? This feels like somebody who's stuck. He wants to find treasure. What treasure is he looking for? He's he's lost. He's I feel like he's trying to find love to be honest. That's what I feel like. This person could be um I'm channeling something right now. This person could be very very depressed to the point of You know what? This person is supposed to be being initiated but something has happened something interfered with this person's initiation mm. 
this was the same energy videos ago that I got was being initiated, but now they're saying it didn't happen. Who interfered in this initiation? Why is this always like a crazy ass story? Who interfered with this person's initiation? Who interfered? Could have been a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a Sag, a Sagittarius. Could have interfered. Why? Creating conflict. Pissing this person, person off. They are... I feel like they brought this person back into a karmic pattern. Karmic behavior. So... It like threw this masculine back into a karmic cycle before he could actually gain his initiation. So now this Queen of Keys is being asked to, she's being granted what she wanted from the universe in order to come help this guy get out of this damn trench. Because he's got someone to meet here. He's got a faded meeting. <laughs> He also has a faded meeting to get to at a certain time. Like, we don't got time for this. This person could be the divine physician. Um, he's got healing work he's got to do, but he can't even see through his shit. He's like stuck in his mind. He's stuck. This person is stuck. Yeah, he's got stuff to build or create. With his tribe, the Ark of the Covenant. Um, and he keeps getting hit with outside enemies. 128 is out here again. Yeah, this Queen of Keys is going to help this person reflect and reflect and get in touch with their own psychic ability or more become more psychic or something like that. This Queen of Keys is going to help this person. And the Buddha is. I told you. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to help him with the Akashic Records. Oh, Lord. This is crazy. So what are all these people supposed to be doing? Yeah, he's got to get matched with the Queen of Forces. Well, the Queen of Forces. What is the, what is the Queen of Forces doing? What is the Queen of Forces doing? There's like a bunch of different people here going, you guys are headed into your destiny. You're headed in different paths. So Queen of Forces is doing something with Hilarion, a Buddha, helping this person get out of this ruins, helping this divine physician, helping them being initiated by a specific time and fighting off these ops. <laughs> what is the diversity? Five of scrolls. Let's see. Five of scrolls. Lord. This was like a mama. I don't know. I keep hearing a mama or something. So, this Queen of Forces is helping you to diversify or telling you it's time to diversify trying to push you to try new things go to new places learn new subjects break out into different directions and meet new people okay this is what the queen of forces job is to do among this other stuff okay you guys are getting led into your destiny for sure okay so keep going but you got to help some people out whoever you're guided to help out all of you are going to have access to the akashic records too so because you've done the work you've done the work so now you're being granted access yeah Uriel and the Sphinx um, let's see that's a major arcana so let's see what this one wants to say Archangel Uriel helped you silent holder of truth and ancient mysteries this is the most important work of your time. This is what this card indicates. This is the most important work in your life. Okay. 
you're being asked to reflect at this time because you're about to be initiated into a higher power, right? Being access, having access to the Akashic Records. <laughs> yeah, this needs to be done by a specific time. Okay, it's like the same message over and over. So that's where you're headed. Let's see what we need to know at this time. Ow, my foot hurts, my ankle. <laughs> see what we need to know. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. So you need to connect to your altar at this time. Um, if you haven't already, I just noticed something about a Celtic cross is significant. Notice this is a cross. Okay, that's significant. I've never seen that before or noticed that before. It's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. Remember I told you guys to clear your chakras at this time through dance, shakti, yoga, all that type of stuff. Because when this solar eclipse hits, you don't want to have blocked chakras. Okay? Um, it's not going to... That, that wouldn't be good for your body. It may cause you to be tired or sick or something like that. Okay? You are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. So be strong. Segment is here at this time and trying to help you. Okay. Artemis is here as well. Guardian, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. So if someone's worried like, oh my God, um, what the hell is going on? If things are crashing around you, things are being eliminated, removed from your life, this is meant to happen at this time. Okay. Anything you want to say about if things are being removed from their life and it feels like maybe their life is being burnt to the ground remember now yes some people shit is getting burnt to the ground because they've done bad but other people's stuff is being burnt to the ground too in order to rebuild remember phoenix rising is creating from the ashes okay yeah keep your unwavering thoughts feelings and actions fo focused on your target and you will make your mark you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Anybody, anything you want to say to people who are scared at this time? There could be people that are scared because I felt it. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. Kali, endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter. Okay. Honor your emotions. Release. Let that out. Let it out. Cry, shake off, shake off the energy, get outside, hug a tree. Every time I say that, I feel like somebody laughs. But if you think that I don't go outside and hug trees, I do. <laughs> People look at me at the park like I'm a mad woman. But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I honestly don't. Um, like I sing karaoke and I can't sing but people laugh at me the crowd laughs and we all have fun who cares I sound like Mariah Carey when that tune is at the same you know when it's high enough right <laughs> the music's high enough all right outdoors go outside get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas that's what i'm saying hug a tree that's what i was trying to tell you archangel jovial here clear audience archangel zadkiel notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people intuition you know what to do. Archangel Uriel. Uriel is out here again. So Archangel Uriel is with us at this time. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Lighthouse. I've been channeling that for a long time. You know what to do. You know what to do. Gifts from God. Archangel Sandalphon, we angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. If you start feeling scared, you need to pray. That's all I can tell you. What else do they need to know if they're scared? If 
start getting scared. I'm also hearing it's time to be brave. We pulled that not that long ago. It's time to be brave. Okay? You know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge. You are an indigo and crystal child. Okay? You could have a bond with children because you're an indigo and crystal child. You could have indigo and crystal children. Okay? Don't be scared. You're an indigo who is highly, I'm hearing, favored and watched over. Remember to eat a healthy lifestyle, eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise. Archangel Raphael, I'm going to just tell you, it's hard. It's hard to eat healthy because indigo and crystal children, we love our sweets. <laughs> we do. Um, so, it is what it is. <laughs> but, yeah. So that's what I'm getting here. Let me get some work here, White Oracle. <sighs> Oracle back at this time. Get grounded, empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. So this card keeps coming out. They keep telling you to connect with nature. You need to go outside. Transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. So you are healing your DNA. You are healing your cells, your DNA. Awakening. Energetic upgrades. A new way of being. Integration. Some of you are going to go through an awakening. You also need to call back your power, cut cords, and soul retrieval protection you need to protect your energy at this time and you guys are stepping into your power how are you being called to lead you need to do that as of right now get ready to step into your position i heard <laughs> position Where are they headed? Oh. This is your sacred wealth code. Where are they headed? Where are they headed? The advocate. This is funny for many different reasons, but this is funny because I am I am an I am an INFJ personality type, INFJ advocate, <laughs> sometimes I score as a guardian, so that's funny, um, but some of you are as well, so I align with the greater good for all, humanitarian, resourcefulness, look how she has her arm around this person, showing her the light, showing her, you know, advocating for her, showing her that she has ideas. Yeah, being her muse. Saturn, Venus, collaborating, the moon. <laughs> I co-create to create. Yes, exactly. I inspire and I am inspired. Intuitive, creative, divinely connected. Co-creating. Okay. Co-creating with the universe. All right, now I'm going to look and see what divine feminines are around us at this time, and then that's going to be it. So what divine feminines are here at this time helping us progress forward, helping us move forward? What energies here are, <coughs> are with us at this time? What energies helping us? Perpetua, the saint of authenticity. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. She's trying to get you to um, embrace your authentic self and just be who you are. No hidden personas, no masks, no performative masks. Just you being you, whatever that may look like, okay? Authenticity is the most highest frequency. Authenticity is even higher than love, okay? So that's a very high vibration. I don't know if you guys know that. Thecla, the prophetess of true power. I call my power back from all times and all places. I am my own. So if you have not called your power back from all times, past lives, contracts, etc., you need to do that at this time. That's the second card we got telling you to call back your power. 
okay? The goddess of never not broken. Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. Love and authentic and true power. Love, power, authenticity. Lilith. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. The first woman. She was the chaos bride of God. <laughs> if you guys don't know about her history, you may want to look that up. Let me see, because I journaled about that not that long ago. Let me see. Yes, the dark, chaotic bride of God. Okay? It was, I'm, I'm going to read you this, because this is, this is a, a teaching here. Lilith is the same energy as Anana, the queen of heaven and earth, the divine mother, the divine femme. Lilith is supreme chaos. Dark, chaotic bride of God, first wife of, first wife of Adam. Aradia is also related to Hecate. Aradia was, is Lilith, was Lilith. They gave this energy multiple different names throughout cultures, throughout time. It changed. Aradia was an Italian, eth was an ethnic Italian witch who taught witchcraft to others to obtain their freedom. Aradia is the triple goddess. Okay. What is witchcraft? Uh, witchcraft back in the day was known as healing, using your gifts to heal, listening to your intuition, being... Um, if you bled with the moon cycles, you were considered evil and killed. That's all witchcraft. <laughs> Which is bullshit, okay? Just so you guys know that. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Embrace your divine femininity and your culture, your heritage, your bloodline. Okay, somebody needs to know that. 